Welcome or welcome back once again. Name's Nikki, and I do planning. Today's episode is part of our Notion series, where I share with you free templates of monthly setups in Notion. Our theme for this November 2021 is our very own love, Studio Ghibli movies. I mean, we all can relate to how we find good and pleasing Miyazaki's animation is. In my previous video, I've introduced what Notion is. If you're not aware, it's an effective productivity platform, so I might as well have decided to try it out for planning since I've recently ran out of bullet journals and art materials. Anyway, buckle up. If you're ready, let me begin my tour with you to the world of Ghibli planners. Right on your screen is the main cover page for this month's setup. We have here our retro clock, a calendar, Hayao Miyazaki's superficial views towards anime, which apparently led his efforts on the making of Ghibli animation, relaxing cafe Ghibli music, and um, of course, buttons that will take us to the main different sections or spreads for planning our month, the weekly spreads, brain dump, and a thoughts section. Now, this is where the fun begins. For, for each button of my weekly spreads, I opted to revolve on one specific Ghibli movie. Basically, these four buttons hold four of my most favorite Ghibli movies, or at least my most favorite out of the few I have watched. Starting off for week 1, our cutest ever Totoro. I wanted to really capture the feels of the movies in every section, so I embedded in my neighbor Totoro's soundtrack from YouTube. The layouts I have created are now a bit far from minimalistic, but it's also fun to try out applying the creative designs of bullet journaling here in Notion. Quick tour, it's nice to keep track of which part this week is of the month already, which is why I placed mini calendars in each weekly spreads, then a countdown to until when this week ends, quotes and photos from the movie, and of course, the planners themselves from Monday to Sunday. Week 2, we have Kiki's Delivery Service. It is about a young witch entering a new chapter of her life independently in a new town, serving by flying deliveries to earn herself a living. It is of somehow the same layout to week 1 and all the other spreads. Week 3 is all about the movie Spirited Away. Of course, who doesn't like this all-time wonderful movie? I really like how Zenibia reminded us that everything that actually happens in our lives are really within us, and though we fail to remember them, they are actually never forgotten. In my last video, I also explained how I had these subjects by default layouted in my weekly spreads and I basically encourage you guys to do the same, really to put you through exercises to balance both your work or student life with your everyday activities as well. Um, I also attached here a link about the character of No Face. In case you're interested, I basically loved the lesson and the message of No Face's real essence in the movie. So I don't know, check it out if you like. And finally, week 4 is a good tour to the secret world of Arietti. Personally, I really like miniature stuff, and when I first heard of this movie, I got really interested.
I also attached journal entries for each day. The brain dump is as simple as it looks. We have here just a calendar and sticky notes to fill in of whatever comes up in your mind. Last but not least, I always talk about in my channel how good it is to have this particular section to reminisce, reanalyze, and reflect summarizing the whole month. How was it like hanging out with November? And by bidding this month farewell, what are the things you're gonna keep yourself reminded of? Friends, our Studio Ghibli November setup ends here, free template in the description. And if you think you find this interesting, how about you give that like button a whirl and join me in this constantly fudging world of planning with me. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button as well, and let's promise to see each other again. Kita kids! kids.